Hey there, it's Tony from Field Peace, and today we're going to talk a little bit about static pressure and to do so we're going to use the new Joblink wireless dual port manometer kit. Now we have the awesome opportunity to do our testing in front of this beautiful um, historic home built in the, in the 1890s and as such the furnace and the air handling unit are located under the home. So let's go check it out. Let's hook up our manometers and do a total external static pressure test. All right, so. Here we are, here we are in this crawl space under this beautiful historic home. And we have our furnace here with our evac coil. So we have a horizontal position furnace with evap coil set up here. We have the return side coming from the house on this side, flowing out to the supply side over there. Now, um, in its simplest forms, uh, static pressure is the resistance to airflow in a cooling and a heating system's components and its um, ductwork. And so the test that we're specifically performing right now is called a total external static pressure test, which, is, which can give you a good overall indication of the health of the HVAC system. And one of the reasons that it's good is because um, that actual measurement um, is specified by the manufacturer on, on what it should be. And on this particular unit, um, on the nameplate, it specifies that the total external static pressure should be 0 0.50 inches of water column. And so static pressure is a unit of pressure that is measured in inches of water column. And so in order to perform a total external static pressure test, um, you have to insert uh, static pressure probes into the ductwork, number one, and they have to be at the inlet and the outlet of the furnace, which is um, before the blower and after the heat exchanger, but before the evap coil that's back here and after any filter that is on this side, because that's how the manufacturer performs its test and, and that's how that number is specified. And so one thing you always want to make sure of is that before you drill a hole, you are not going to damage any component that's on the inside. So what I did um, previous as a prep was that um, I removed these covers and I just did a visual inspection uh, to see where I'm going to drill my holes. So this was a nice open piece of duct. Um, so there was nothing I had to worry about here. Now on the furnace side, um, you can see that on the top here is where I've inserted uh, the other side of the uh, job link manometers here. And I just had to make sure that where, where I was going to drill a hole that I wasn't going to puncture the, the heat exchanger. So uh, you want to be very careful and observant before you actually drill your holes uh, because you don't want to puncture a, a heat exchanger, the blower, or do any damage to any like E electrical board or any wiring. Beauty of having two single port manometers serve the function of a dual port manometer is I don't have to mess with a bunch of tubes and, um, hanging around getting caught on all these things that my shirt and my sleeve was getting caught on. Um, I can easily position the manometer probe exactly where it needs to go. And so what you want to do is you want to insert that and then you can easily zero it out right before you want to take your measurement. Tap on the power button, you'll see a blue light flash and you're good to go and you're ready to take your measurement. Put the hose back on and just stick it back on there. So on the supply side of the unit, I'm not sure if you can see it there or not, but it's here on top and I've done the same thing where I have done a zero and I've positioned it onto the supply side so we can see it right here. It's hooked up and I have my static pressure probe in the direction of the airflow here using the magnet. And so 
The beauty of having a wireless probe is that we don't have to sit here and, and do the diagnosis of our system. Especially if it was a really hot day, it would probably be upwards of 120, 130 degrees down here. So let's go outside and see what the numbers are showing us. So one way to easily think about static pressure is like having your uh, blood pressure measured when you go see a doctor. So when a doctor measures your, your blood pressure, it's, it's a general overall indication of how healthy you are as a person. And same as such when measuring static pressure on an HVAC system, it gives you a general overall look at the health of a system. And so now that we have our tools hooked up under the house, let's actually look at the numbers um, in our nice shaded area in comfort and, um, and a better view. All right, so now that we're outside, we can um, look at what the, our static pressure measurements are showing us. So on the supply side, we're getting about 0.75 inches of water column. Uh, on the return side, we're getting negative 0.35 inches of water column. Um, to get the total external static pressure, what we do is we add those two numbers together. Um, um, ignoring the sign, all you do is add those two numbers together and we get 1.10. So as I said previously, that that particular um, furnace piece of equipment is rated at 0.5. So what this tells me is that it has more than twice the amount of total external um, static pressure on that particular unit. And one of the advantages of using the um, Joblink dual port wireless kit is that you can individually see what side is causing you more more issues than the other. So from this, I can see that on the supply side, we have 0.75 inches, which is a much higher number than 0.35. So when I start to troubleshoot the system to look for restrictions in the ductwork, or maybe blockages or a damper being closed, I can start on the supply side because I can easily see that that is the side that is posing um, um, more restriction for the actual piece of equipment. And so I was very easily able to view, diagnose um, in the comfort of shade using the um, Joblink wireless dual port manometer kit um, with the Joblink app. And there you have it. Those are the basics on how to perform a total external static pressure and some info on what static pressure is for an HVAC unit. Um, check out our new Joblink wireless dual port manometer kit that made taking the measurement super easy, super convenient. Thank you for watching our trading video. Uh, check out www.fieldpiece.com for all latest news and information and be safe out there. Thank you for watching. More videos to come.